some pretty wild claims here by Toyota saying that EV range will be doubled with their new solid state batteries. Very wild claims. I mean, we're talking millions of people have been reading this story over the last few days, thinking it's real, thinking it's legitimate. I th actually thought it was a joke. I thought, <laughs> I actually thought, you know, Toyota was taking the piss, but actually Toyota has put out this news report on their own website, making some um, pretty wild claims. And if they're true, well, then, yeah, I mean, Tesla's finished, BYD's finished, everyone's finished because Toyota has clearly got the advantage over everyone else. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, I have an amazing solar system here. Uh, I haven't paid for electricity now for six months. I'll put a link to Resync Solar in the description. Call them. Tell them that I sent you there. Uh, I don't get paid anything for this because you need to charge your EV and save yourself some money. Hard times. Hard times. Might as well save yourself some money. Toyota is saying that they can double the range of your... Well, new EVs, their new EVs, with their solid state batteries. The cathode, they say, beats lithium in energy density by doubling it. Researchers focused on copper nitride as a cathode material for all solid state fluoride ion batteries. Now, this report's going out, and I mean, look on Reddit here, guys. Everyone's saying, uh, best part is it's not a Tesla. So they obviously think it's real. I should point out the fact that to Toyota made these same claims in 2014, 11 years ago. Seems like we're always years away from actually getting these new batteries actually in our cars. And then someone else has said 106 likes. Uh, it was 107 and I downvoted them. At least this research is backed by a large car manufacturer, so commercial viability is likely not an afterthought. Really? Toyota? Commercial viability of solid state batteries. Toyota seems like a likely candidate for that, you think? Yeah, really? How many batteries does Toyota make right now that are lithium batteries? Now, not nickel metal hydride batteries from 1997, but how many batteries do they make today? Geniuses, online geniuses, that are actually lithium? The answer is none. How many EV battery um, production lines do Toyota have? In fact, no, 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 better question yet. How many EV car production lines does Toyota have? In the world, I mean, Toyota made 10 million cars last year, right? 10 million? You'd think Toyota would have one single production line making EVs. I mean, you know, Lucid has a production line, but Toyota doesn't even have one, not even one. Yeah, I mean, it's joint venture partners have a couple in China, so I guess I should not count them out. Now, researchers in collaboration with Toyota Motor Corporation have worked on a new type of cathode material for all solid state batteries. We have no idea if this is the cathode material Toyota claimed that it had in 2014, because back then Toyota wouldn't tell us what they actually had. They've reportedly improved the capacity per volume of the positive cathode for all solid state fluoride ion batteries to about three times that of lithium ion batteries. So the cathode energy density has been tripled according to Toyota. Now, someone actually made a comment that made a lot of sense to me, and I wanna know what you guys think about this. This is the nuclear fusion of the EV world, always making huge breakthroughs, always a year or two away. I definitely wouldn't believe anything that Toyota says on the EV front. They are being dragged, kicking, and screaming to make EVs. And someone else said, no, 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 you're wrong. Solid state, solid state batteries are on the way. And, you know, Toyota is clearly the leader. Very exclusive event here in Newcastle. Saturday, the 15th of March from 3 to 5 p.m. I'll be speaking here with just a couple of other speakers. Very small event. So you can meet me in person. You can actually have a look at my EV as well, the Xpeng G6, test that out. I'll put a link in the description below to the event. I believe that the tickets will probably sell out very, very quickly. So if you're from Sydney, from Brisbane, from Newcastle, make sure you click on that link as quickly as possible to get in. There's, I think there's only around 30 tickets left at this point in time. I'll put that link in the description and I'll see you there. Well, reports reveal that when incorporated into a battery, Toyota's new cathode is expected to have two times more energy density than lithium ion batteries of today. So that would mean that, yeah, Toyota's battery, let's say you had a 100 kilowatt hour battery in a car the size of a Tesla Model Y. Now, the, way, the reason I say 100 kilowatt hour battery, Tesla doesn't have one of those, but I've, I've heard rumors that there will be. So that would give the Model Y approximately 500 miles of range, a battery that size, meaning 
if you use Toyota's magical battery, it could be real, who knows? I shouldn't keep saying that, should I? That would mean the Model Y with that same size battery would get around 1,000 miles of range. Well, close to it. I'd say probably around 950 miles of range, which is insane. I mean, that's like 1, 000, nearly 1,600 kilometers. The cathode material for all solid state fluoride ion batteries delivers a reversible capacity of approximately 550 milliamp hours per gram. That's more than double the 120 to 250 of typical lithium ion cathodes today. The fluoride ion battery is expected to be part of the practical use for EVs after a few years. Now, Toyota has been saying that they would have solid state batteries in their EVs. They said it in 2014, that they'd have it in 2017, and then they, 2018, and then they changed it to 2019. They kept changing to 2022, and then they didn't say anything for a couple of years. And then last year, they said in 2027. I don't think these batteries are ready for 2027. Researchers from Kyoto University use copper nitride in the cathode. Other materials such as manganese and lanthanum were also used in a perovskite crystal. Fluoride ions move through, apparently they move through slabs in the battery during the charging process. They revealed that the copper nitride reacts with nitrogen and fluoride ions, making it possible to extract three electrons per nitrogen atom. It's a very unusual uh, battery, actually. It's quite interesting. This gives it three times the capacity per volume and twice the capacity per weight of lithium ion batteries. It is also said to be durable enough to withstand dozens of charge and discharge cycles. Dozens means nothing. I mean, if it can only withstand dozens, then this battery is maybe never going to be real. It might, but um, obviously imagine buying a new car and Toyota says, don't worry, it's going to be great. It's going to withstand dozens of cycles. How many dozens? Um, three, 36. So when I've charged it 36 times, that's it. Battery's dead. Don't know. This is the big problem with solid state batteries, battery longevity. And this is the bottleneck everyone is facing. So Toyota coming out and saying it can, it can withstand dozens of cycles. It means they're still facing the problems that everyone else are. Researchers stress that all solid state fluoride ion batteries have attracted extensive attention as candidates for next generation energy storage devices. However, promising cathodes with high energy density are still lacking. Its use in solid state batteries can double the driving range of electric vehicles, they say, from 600 kilometers or 372 miles to 1,200 kilometers or 745 miles. Now, Toyota actually said last year that you'd be able to get 1,000 miles of range in some of their EVs. So we'll see if that happens. Reports revealed that in recent years, says Interesting Engineering, fluoride ion batteries have gained in popularity given their potential in next generation energy storage. That's in large part a result of their potential for improved safety given the presence of solid electrolytes and fast fluoride ion conduction, and the fact that fluoride is relatively cheap. Fluoride ions being monovalent and small move quickly in solids. However, previous fluoride ion cathodes well, they had some problems. This new material appears to address multiple issues. Published in the Journal of American Chemical Society, the study investigated copper nitride as a cathode material for all solid state fluoride ion batteries, which offers enough anonic vacancies around the twofold coordinated CU center for F intercalation, thereby enabling a multi electron transferred fluorination process. Researchers revealed that, well, you know, these batteries could potentially do amazing things, but in the real world, we haven't actually seen them used yet. And to be fair, there is a Mercedes electric car on the road today with a solid state battery. Uh, Samsung does have, um, there's a number of manufacturers apparently testing out Samsung solid state batteries in their EVs today. And, you know, there's numerous other brands, BYD, I believe, are further ahead in their solid state battery Um process than Toyota are. They're actually telling us what's happening with it. CATL as well, even though they started much later than Toyota. I, I don't think Toyota has this game-changing technology that they say that they do. They're just sort of saying this to kind of, you know, encourage investors not to dump the stock because I don't think people see Toyota as a really a forward-thinking company. They kind of think of, them, think of them as a safe company. Safe, you know, people buy a car, it's safe, it's vanilla, it's it's something that doesn't feel risky to them, spending $50,000 on a car. 
but that's the same thing. That's the same way people felt about Nokia phones, the same way they felt about buying stuff from Kodak, you know, using old digital, you know, not old digital, old film, all right? I was talking to my kids the other day about film. I was trying to explain it to them. They're like, what the hell, Dad? What is this even about? Film. Dark rooms. Dark room. What's a dark room? And that's where Toyota is at. They're in that dark room, doing their stuff, making their old, their old analog cameras, but claiming they have an amazing new digital camera. But they've been claiming this since 2014. It's now 2025. And yet, this battery, it's, uh, it's just a prototype. It's nowhere near production. And the truth is behind, well, the truth behind all Toyota's battery claims is that um, they should be prosecuted by the SEC. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments.